Hey everyone, my name is Colin with McGarvey Films and today I'm going to show you how to make your own shake transition using Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this transition is one of my favorite transitions to use because it adds a lot of excitement and variety to your edits. And it's great to use for high paced edits such as promotional videos and music videos. I also love this transition because it can be made very quickly and once you have made it, you can easily duplicate it throughout the rest of your project. So let's get into it. All right, so the first step is to open up your Premiere Pro project and import your clips. As you can see, I have my clips down here in my timeline. I've got a sailboat, I've got some military trucks driving through the desert, some normal trucks through the desert, and this uh, cool Mercedes shot. So what I want to do is I want to make a transition, uh, the shake transition between each of these clips right here. Uh, so this is pretty easy to do. So the first step is to um, duplicate your clip by clicking on it and then holding option, uh, click and drag and drag it to the next track above. That's gonna make an exact duplicate above it. Then on the top one, you're gonna to wanna to drag it down to four frames. I should zoom in here. Four, boom, okay, let me zoom in just a little bit. Cool, so now that's the clip that we're gonna be putting our transition on. So next you wanna go into your effects uh, window and type transform. And then under distort, you have transform. So go ahead and drag that on to here. Perfect. And we'll go to the beginning of that. Then when you go into your effects, um, it's important that you have this window. And if you don't know how to get them saving, um, you can use this little arrow right here and that'll show you this window. That's where your keyframes are going to be. Um, so transform is the effect that we just put onto it. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is, um, on the anchor point is you want to click your little stopwatch right here and you're going to be editing in here um, so you're going to need that icon to show up and to do that you got to click on transform and you get that icon and then um, click on your anchor point and now you can drag this just a little bit like that and you can see it it moves the clip and you can kind of see the edges of where one clip is on top of the other one but what I like to do is turn the lower track off and then you can see exactly where you're moving around that top clip. And we don't wanna do it too much, but just a little bit to get that shake. So I think right there is good. And next we're gonna, um, so that made a keyframe over here. We're gonna move over one frame just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and drag this anchor point again. And now we're gonna move it um, right there, just like that. Perfect, and that made another keyframe, and we're gonna go over again, and we're gonna go back up in here, and um, you know, you can really do whatever you want with this. You can either make it more exaggerated or less exaggerated. I wanna go too much more, and I'll, I'll show you why in a second here, but I'm gonna try to keep it pretty consistent. So, now I have those key, three keyframes, and move over one more time, click this anchor point, and drag it back, um, down here. Now, me personally, I like the diagonal to go from top left, bottom right, or top right to bottom left. Um, just the diagonal shake is nice. Um, you can go up, down, left, right, a circle, you know, whatever uh, type. I like the diagonal, so you can do either any of that. Okay, so now once you have all those um, keyframes, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna turn this um, eyeball back on so we now see the lower track. And if we go ahead and play this through, let's see what it looks like. See, okay, so you get that little bit of shake, we'll back up, little shake, okay. So that's the gist of the transition right there. You know, you add some sound effects to that and that's gonna look really cool, like a glitch or a whoosh, whoosh, something like that. But um, one thing that I would recommend to make this a little bit better is if you go down right here where it says use composition shutter angle, that's what it says if you, drag it out, shutter angle, uh, turn that off and go up and go into here and do uh, 180. And you'll see how that kind of puts some blur in there and that kind of mimics 
the motion that the clip is moving in and gives it a little bit more motion blur. So now if we play that again, you know, you can see a little bit more blur happening. Now that's cool, you know, you can change this clip, you can make it longer than four frames, shorter. From my experience, I like uh, to keep it in about um, four frames, it just works pretty well for me. Um, and, you know, you can leave it just like that. Um, but what I would recommend, what I like to do, is I like to add the same effect at the beginning of the next clip. It just kind of helps connect the two clips together and makes the transition a little bit more smooth. So click on your clip, hold Option, and drag the clip to the track above. And just like before, trim this down to about four frames, just like that. Go back into the effects panel, click and drag transform onto the transition clip. And we're gonna go to the beginning of it and go into your effects control, go down to transform, turn the anchor point on and then you can move this over just like that. Now you can kind of see if I move this too much, you start to see the edges of the top clip and you don't want to move it too much because when you play back your clip, you're going to start to see those edges and it's just not going to look smooth. So um, I wouldn't move it you know, too much further than what it is now. If I turn that lower layer, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So. That looks pretty good right there. We're going to move over one more frame and then we're going to click and drag the next one, move over one more frame and move it like that. And for the last one, we're going to move it down just like that. Perfect. Okay, so that's it right there. And we're also going to want to go down and use uh, our turn shutter um, composition shirt angle off and then we're going to bump that up to 180 for the actual shutter angle. You can see it gets that blur and when we turn this track back on and we kind of play through both you kind of get this cool shaking transition and it kind of helps blend it together. Alright cool so that's looking good so let me just show you one more trick that um, might be useful to you guys. So I'm gonna start over over here on these clips where it goes from the end of these military trucks into the normal trucks. So um, just like before, we're gonna drag it, but I'm gonna drag it higher so I don't mess that one up. And we're gonna make it four, five, four, boom, okay just like that. So say I did want to, well, hold on, transform just like that in the effects. All right, transform angle, okay. Now say I did want to move this more, you know, somewhere like that, just because I wanted a bigger, um, bigger shaking effect. Okay, so let's try it. So I move it like that. Actually, that's going to be this keyframe. And then for this keyframe, we're going to move it. Well, not quite that much, but a little bit more. And we're going to go back to here. And for the last one, we're going to move it down just like that. Okay, so now I have a bigger, you know, shaking effect. And if you kind of look closely through this, you can kind of see those edges, you know? It's like a defined line. And you don't really want that in a transition. It doesn't really make it smooth, at least not for the one that we're going for. So, uh, same thing, we'll come down, turn the um, composition shutter angle off, move it up to 180, boom. Okay, so that's great and all, but you can kind of see this little line right here where the top clip is being blurred, but the bottom one is not, you know. So one way to get around that is in transform, in your scale, you can kind of bump it up. Boom, just like that, like 111. And now your top clip is scaled up, so it's hiding those edges and it makes your transition look a little bit 
more smooth. So now I'm just gonna duplicate this clip and I'm gonna bring it down to four frames just like the other. Now, since I already have this one created, what I can do is click on this clip in the effects control. I can click transform and do command C to copy it. And I can go onto this clip and I can do command V and that's gonna copy this transition right here. And if you notice, it also copied the scale uh, the exact keyframes and then also turn the composition shutter angle off and moved it up to 180. Uh, so now this is the more exaggerated larger shake and um, you can kind of see how that allowed me to do a little bit bigger of a shake. And now you still get a little bit, you know, you, you're still seeing some of those edges that's why I try to stay away from moving it, you know, too much, but overall not a bad transition. And the cool thing about this effect is that you can copy and paste that over different edits throughout the entire project so that you don't have to keep recreating it. You create it once and you can copy and paste it onto the other uh, transitions in your project. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those in the comment section below. Also, I'd love to see how you use this shake transition in your own projects. So in the comment section, add a link to your video so I can check those out. Lastly, if you want to download my personal shake transition preset, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can get access to that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.